guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back in today's video we are going to be cash stuffing my saving challenges all right guys so if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing i would greatly appreciate it if you join my youtube channel and don't forget to turn on your notification bell that way you know when i upload a video today you guys i'm going to be cash stuffing let's count not as much as i have been but that's okay um if you watch my week number one and two um, weekly check-in, you can see that I did not have as much for my rollover, but I still had something. So something is better than not having anything. So let's just count to see how much I'm going to be cash stuffing today for my savings challenges. So we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, and 79. All right, so let's just get out my tray and set this money up. All right, you guys, so we're gonna start off with my um, hands and bands. So let's just move this over to the side. So what I started to do, what I'm gonna be doing with these, this way I know what I have to cash stuff in the savings challenge. I'm gonna put stickers next to the ones that I'm gonna be cash stuffing. So today I'm gonna to be cash stuffing 11, three, and one. So that's $15. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the 15, and I'm gonna put it into this right here. So. I have, um, let's see, I'll take a five and a 10. So that's 10, 15. Okay, so now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 110, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, and 43. That's 143. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and scratch off these last four. Okay. So we have one. Is that a one or a seven? I think that's a seven. Okay, so that's 16. I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. This way I make sure that I have enough to cover this. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this sticker from here and place it here. here. So I'm gonna put that here. That way I know next um, savings challenge, I need to put aside $16 for this challenge. All right. The next one is gonna be my um, mini savings which is gonna be um, this one right here. I'm gonna be cash stuffing $16. So let's see, I need green. Okay, so we're gonna stuff this with, a 15, with $16. Okay, so I need change for um, for basically this here. So I'm gonna get change and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I have change. So now we're gonna cash stuff this with $16. So that's 10, 15, 16. Okay, you guys, I've counted this money like about 50 times and I cannot seem to get it correctly. But when I do it on my calculator, it's correctly. So let's just see how much this has. So that's a 50. I'm actually going to put this aside. So that's 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 150, 155, 57, 58, 59, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is incorrect. I should have 173 and I keep counting 176. So now I'm going to go to my calculator and just count it by denomination. So and that's 173. I'm going to count it without the calculator and see if I can count it correctly because. I'm a 43-year-old woman almost that cannot count money. <laughs> like, I don't understand. So that's 50, 
70, 90, 110, 20, 30. And I have this here. What in the ham sandwich? So this is 50, 70, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 71, 2, 3. Okay, so for um, the next one is going to be my sweet savings. This one I'm only stuffing five. I don't have a five available to stuff, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is, um, let me get my markers. I'm just going to color half of the lollipop. Okay, so this is the red. So I'm just going to do half of it. Okay, so this is gonna be a $5 bill. I'm gonna put this in here. So my sweet savings and safari challenge has 100, 200, and 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 300, and 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. So that's 350? Yes, I believe it's 350. I'll put it on the screen. Because again, I don't remember when I count what I say. I don't know if that's just me or everyone has that struggle. Okay, so my crew savings. Oh, I need this. Okay, so my crew savings, I'm gonna be cash stuffing $43. So let's see what color I'm going to use today. Oh, last week I forgot to do the little handle, so I'm going to just do that here. So this should be $43 remaining. So that's 20, 30, 132, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 41, 2, 3. Let's color it yellow. Right, you guys so um, I was gonna do this in um, my weekly check-in but it was just I had too much to do in that weekly check-in I just wasn't gonna have the time so I'm gonna just do it in this one okay all right you guys I just took my charger off of my phone because I felt like it was moving it a little bit too much okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to withdraw because I paid my portion of my cruise so the money that's remaining here is going to be the money that's my spending basically so let me get my calculator let's just count to see how much I have left here okay so let's just see my total my total is I have 1,500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and 20, 40, 60, 80, 2,000. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30. So that's 130. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, two, three. Okay, so I have twenty-one fifty-three. My portion of the cruise was minus twelve forty. Okay, so this is what I have remaining. Six hundred. I think it's six hundred or six sixty. Um, hold on. So this was. This money, this $1,900 was in the bank account. Let me just write this down. So I had $1,900 in the bank account. And then I paid $1,240. So let's count that. $19 minus $1,240. So $1,240 plus 
So in my high yield savings account, I still have $660. So I just calculated that I had here $21.53 minus what I paid. So I should have a total of $913, but I have $660 in the bank account. So in my cash envelope here, I should have a total of cash, $253, okay? So what I'm gonna do, um, actually I'm gonna have a total of $13 cash and I'm gonna take the difference back to the bank, that way I can transfer it to my high yield savings account. All right, so I'm gonna take out $13, one, two, three, And then this is going to represent the money that's going to be in my account. So let's just count. This should be $913. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. So this is going to go back to the bank, this money here. So let's just cash stuff this. I hope I'm making sense to people. Let me just go over this again. So I had a total in this envelope. 2153 okay i already paid my mother 1240 1240 dollars and that came out of my savings account which had 1900 so now that account has 660 so my total between what's in my account and what should be in my envelopes i have a total of 913 and let's just calculate again how i got to that amount i had a total of 1000 $153, okay? And then I paid my portion of $1240. So my account now has $913, but $660 is in my account. So technically, I have $253 that's in cash here. So let's just go ahead and count this to make sure that I'm gonna be, that I have a total of $253 of cash. That way you guys can see exactly how I came up with this number. Because it's really easy to get confused when you're transferring money. <laughs> so let's just count this and make sure that this is indeed $253. And make sure that this is all facing the right way. Okay. So this is 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 210, 20, 30, 132, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 51, 2, 3. All right, you guys, so I have $253. So that's why I'm going to only keep $13, 1, 2, 3, cash here. So 240, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92, 10, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. So 240 is actually going back to my account. And I'm going to take the prop money of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is going to represent the money that's going to be sitting in my account. All right. So now this envelope has a total of five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right. So that was long winded. <laughs> this envelope is a lot thinner. So what I'm going to do is I have a tracker back here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and update this. So I added 311 deposit. All right, you guys. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put this money. Let's see. So this is money that's going back to my checking account so I can deposit it and transfer it into my high yield savings account. That way it can accrue some interest because I'm not going away until May. So I have plenty of time. 
to accrue a little bit of interest. All right, you guys. Take this back. This is the end of my video. I do want to take a sip of my sparkling water. I didn't even think I took a drink the whole time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. I hope everyone has an amazing morning, day, or night whenever you're watching this. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. You guys take care and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys.